Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, welcome to Braden in the Car after too much coffee. Hey, it's the early morning edition. We're up even before the sun. It is a balming 34 degrees out. Uh, you're looking at your highs in about the 38 range today, but it can get down into 30, so back down into freezing. But we're here on our morning commute tell you it's nice and dreary out the road conditions are doing just fine and one of the things that I always like to talk about is somewhat of the more or less ridiculous to not topics of the day but like national day of this sort of thing or national day of that sort of thing so it just so happens today to be National Peanut Butter Day. So go out and have a peanut butter sandwich, everyone. You can't have jelly on it. It has to be purely peanut butter. Or, for you health nuts out there, maybe just some peanut butter and celery. Celery seems to be that perfect vegetable just to put peanut butter right into and make a tasty snack. Now, I tend to think that the National Day of get a little bit more ridiculous as you go through all of them because it's not just National Peanut Butter Day. No, it is National Beer Can Appreciation Day. As you see, we're going past a uh, someone is currently pulled over. Actually, it looks like that cop is checking out an abandoned car for the mere fact that that car was covered in snow. Just letting everybody know as we uh, drive on past. But no, National Beer Can Appreciation Day. Not National Beer Day or National Appreciate Your Adult Beverage Day. No, we have to appreciate the beer can specifically. No drinking of bottle beer, no drinking of draft beer. Specifically, the beer can. Why? Why is this a thing? Which brings me, not to the very end of the list, but we're not even going to go past the third one. But the third thing of the day is, talk like a grizzled prospector day. D does anybody even, well, a lot of generations will probably not even understand the phrase of prospector, but uh, think of Stinky Pete from Toy Story 3. Two. Toy Story 2. There we go. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Talk like a grizzled prospector day, which I feel like is a take on Talk Like a Pirate Day just because that one became so famous or at least overused on the internet. So as you go about your day in even your most professional of settings, I need you to talk like this and you know, uh, maybe this is even a little bit better to wear you. It's, it's almost like you're sucking in air instead of breathing out while you talk. Yeah, I can't do it either. Uh, so, that has been your uh, of the day update. So, it, it seems even more foggy now driving this way. The roads are completely clear, though. So, besides the fog, it's smooth sailing out here. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people just took the day off anyway. I mean, you're coming off of a three-day weekend from last weekend. You probably got more stuff to do this weekend. Sure, you have my approval to call in because, you know, there's a little bit of snow on the ground. But you know what they say. There is no bad inclement weather day. It's purely improper transportation and clothing. I believe that was Ron Swanson, Parks and Rec. So I hope everybody has a great day. This has been your morning commute. Thank you and have a great day. And we shall hit a few buttons here while I keep my eyes on the road.
Safe driving, everyone.